Oh, well, hello guys, welcome back. Uh, I mean, I should be welcomed back. It's been ages since I made another video, but because of the floods, you know, and everything that was going on and uh, after me needing some more time off, I'm back again and uh, what better way to start with some news. Hmm? Today will be a news uh, video and I will answer some comments. Uh, I will show you what I mean in the later at the end of the video. But uh, let's firstly cover the new driver. Look at this guys. We got new driver two days ago and uh, yeah, it's been optimized for the NFL 24 and Wayfinder. Plus I've heard it got a bit good boost in some other games and a750 now has good performance so uh, we might maybe test that one out as well but today let's check what uh, we got released notes here uh, to see what driver improvements are there and uh, let's check the fixed issues we got uh, Uncharted Legacy of Thief Collection DirectX 12 may experience an application crash while launching the game I don't have this but uh, someone can let me know if this actually fixed it or not oh look at this guys system may hang while waking up from sleep may need to power cycle the system for recovery I got Three systems with Intel Arcs here, so we will be testing out today. I never had this problem when the system went to sleep and I had to power cycle the whole system. So, uh, yeah, we will be testing out Nook, Intel system and AMD test bench and see if we get this problem with previous driver or not. And if actually the new driver fixes the issue. Not that I've seen it anywhere, but uh, if you have the issue of uh, system hanging up while waking from sleep, then you might want to try the newest driver that's right here. Let's see what else got fixed. Intel Arc Control fix issues. I can see here they did a lot of virtual camera fixes. As we can see, see virtual camera with the uh, clean install option may not be available in Arc driver page while updating to. Uh -huh, okay, if you update from beta to the stable version, there's no, there was no clean installation option apparently. So now there's that. Not that I recommend that. Just use DDU and uh, I got the video in my. Uh, channel and uh, that's the best way to install fresh clean drivers on your system with Intel Arc control the start system may experience slightly higher than expected power consumption during sleep or hibernate I mean how can we measure this I'm not so sure I don't have any measuring uh, tool right here to check how much watch it's using but uh, maybe if I borrow it from a friend we can test it out B Background blur effects with virtual camera may not be changed when setting blur strength from 50 to 100 percent. Ah, broken features, nothing new. <laughs> but it's good that they are actually fixing uh, some of the issues that people are having. This sleep issue is apparently big thing. Not for me, I'm not sure why, like I said before, but uh, let's test it out today if I got this on any of my systems. Probably not, but uh, we'll see. Oh, by the way, guys, remember? XCSS 1.2 version is out on GitHub. It's uh, let's just download this quickly. Ah, I already had it here. Okay, uh, so here we have bin folder. This is where usually the DLL files were there, and uh, as we can see now, everything got merged into one DLL file. It's apparently backwards compatible API with XSS 1.0 and 1.1. Ah, we tested this from Ratchet and Clank. It seems the DLL file is the same. Intel. Don't joke with us, we know it's not compatible, we tested it with some games and nothing happened. Except for Spoken, okay, for Spoken, for some reason it worked. Bug fixes, stability improvements and performance optimizations, yeah, performance optimizations, we got the same performance on uh, any of these uh, XCSS DLL files, but okay, maybe now that it's official, something changed in the DLL file, who knows, maybe we will test it out, but so far, based on the videos we've made from Ratchet and Clank DLL file, well, uh, yeah, we saw what it was. <laughs> if it was compatible with 1.1, then why didn't 1.1 XCSS work in uh, Ratchet and Clank? I'm not sure, guys. You tell me down in the comments below your thoughts. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get on with testing the sleep option and see if I got the bug. Or okay, so we got here our Intel. Oh, it's a bit dirty already. Damn. Anyways, I need to clean it and uh, print a custom logo on here as soon as possible, whenever I find the time. But yeah, that's not uh, the thing here. Let's go here, guys. You see here? Let's go to sleep mode. 
Let's see what happens. Oh, wait. Sleep mode doesn't seem to work on my light OS or what? Wait. wait, wait. See? Uh huh. Okay. Mouse turned off. Computer seems to go to sleep. It's blinking, so I guess that means it's sleeping. Uh, what if I press now the button? Press the mouse button. Will it turn on? No. Ah, here we go, guys. Turned on. Let's try again to go to sleep mode and see what will happen. Okay, now it's sleeping. Do you have uh, this problem? Let me know down in the comments below. But uh, so far, it seems uh, Nook, Intel Nook is working just fine. Oh, look at the flash on this. <laughs> oi, oi. Uh, yeah, let's try it one more time. We will move the mouse, press some buttons. Let's see what happens. Oh, my screen is dirty. Oh, as you can see, guys. It's working just fine and I will quickly open up here the Intel R control panel. So you can see we are actually not using the latest drivers. Okay, let's move to our test bench. Shall we go? Let's go. Okay, so here we are. Here we have our test bench running. Uh, do not guys this version of BIOS. Look, it's 20.0.1053. And we are currently using the driver, which is here again, the same one as on our Nook system. 0.4578. So, uh, yeah, here we actually have sleep button, so I can just press this. It should probably go to sleep. Yep, it went to sleep. So, let's press the button and see. Okay, it started to turn on. Seems to work just fine, guys, even without the latest drivers. Hmm? What do you mean they fixed the issue? Was there even an issue? Not for me, but let's just try one more time. Okay, it clearly is sleeping because the RGB lights are still on. So we go here, press space. I mean, guys, it's booting all right. So what? That's two systems down. One more to go. Hmm? Let's go. Okay, I just hooked up this Intel system that I have here, the smaller one. Ah, this GPU was really, really cheap. 200 euro, guys. I couldn't pass it on, so I got it, of course. But yeah, that's not why we're here. Let's go. Sleep function. Clearly it's going to sleep because the RAM back there it's still running. See it's shining on the other side like crazy. But uh, yeah. See I press the button on the keyboard. Still uh, booting just fine. Do note I'm using three different versions of Windows. Uh, one is light OS. This one is normal one. And on uh, Nook 1, I also got a modified one, but uh, yeah, Windows is not an issue. It's probably the hardware if you are experienced in English. Okay, wait, wait, wait. My uh, mouse is not working correctly. Uh, so many USB ports. Wait, what? Did I even... No, it's not the right USB or what? Anyways, guys, I mean... Let's try it one more time. It's going to sleep. Let me just wait for a moment. Maybe it's an issue because it's going to sleep and then it waits like 3 hours and then wants to boot up. But I have waited like 20 minutes and uh, yeah, the computer still booted up fine. I mean... There must be something else going on, as you can see. Yep. Okay. It seems I never had an issue on three systems that uh, it would hang up from sleep. But, uh, yeah, if you are having it, 
do try the new driver version and let me know down in the comments below if it actually fixes it for you or not. Uh, guys, I got one more thing to show you. Guys, guys, this is what I wanted to show you. It's bundled with the graphic device firmware update. Let's go. An update HDMI firmware may be available for the system. Please ensure. Oh, come on now. Please, uh, no. Guys, I will not be updating HDMI, so I don't really use it. But, uh, oh, actually, you know, for uh, streaming on Elgato. Okay, I won't be using this one, I will be using my cart and I will update the firmware there, but uh, here, let's see what happens if we just use DisplayPort. We invite you to join the Intel Computing Improvement... Decline, guys, because if you decline, see what you get? Only these two items, let's go, finally, no more improvement program or anything else. That's good to see, it's good to see. Ah, uh, let's see what kind of a version we will now get on uh, our Intel Arc. Did you remember the version BIOS name that we had before? Hmm? Then quickly check back and uh, let's see. Warning, 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 warning. A firmware update is in progress. The system may flicker or temporarily cause the screen to black out. I mean, that's just installing the new drivers, right? No, 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 no. Let's see what will happen. But uh, so far, Intelarc is getting updated. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Please do it. Don't break. I hate this uh, firmware updating via drivers, but uh, at least Intel is trying something new so we don't have to manually update drivers. I remember with NVIDIA. God damn it, uh, when Resizable Bar came out, you had to manually update the BIOS versions and then it broke everything because I was using. 9900k and uh, yeah Sam didn't work back then on that computer so there's that but now it's fine now it works good okay this is uh, 1216k 1600k I mean I'm not sure how to spell this uh, brand names of Intel and uh, everything else but okay firmware update is complete it's highly recommended okay let's reboot yeah please sign me out sign me out Let's see how fast will be the boot time be, guys. Hmm? What did you say? It's really hot today. We got 35 degrees. Come on, Intel Arc, why are you so slow? What's happening? Please, no Windows update. No Windows update. Okay, guys, we are back, and as we can see, our uh, firmware got updated to. 0.1064 1064 God, let's see what's happening. Is there anything new in our Intel Arc control center? Seems to be looking the same performance. Anything new here? Uh, nothing new. Okay, we still have the fixed fan curve in this. So everything good. Volts still what's still the same. Everything looks the same as it was before. Anything new here? Seems not. Okay, data collection, let it be. They need our data to improve the products. Uh, yeah, I mean, nothing else is new for, for now. Maybe in the display, oh, okay, okay, guys. Look, in display section, you know, I think this was already here before. I'm sorry for hyping you up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay, very brief. Refresh rate mode, full screen, full screen window. I will try this. Anything up here, reset, identify, resolutions and refresh range. What if we click this one? Nothing happens. Ah, it opens here and you cannot set the custom resolution, okay. Yeah, guys, we got new firmware update on our Intel R graphic card. Let's quickly check what's apparently new. Good guy, PMC government one. <laughs> he found this actually. Not only does this game on arrival release support hot new games for August, it also upgrades the firmware on some Intel R graphics. What do you mean on some? Not on all? God damn it. What do you mean? It should be on all. Let's quickly turn down the music so we don't get any strikes or anything. But yeah, this latest version brings stability improvements, better fan behavior. Do you think the automatic one got fixed? Bug fixes? Well, please Intel. 
Let us know more of the bug fixes or uh, are these the fixes that you mentioned in the change log? And uh, better compatibility with HDMI connections. Ah, this this is good. I will try this on my Elgato cart and see if we get any dropouts. But probably not. Probably not. We'll see. I will do the update uh, right now. And uh, the next video, we'll see if there's any cuts or not. Let's go. By the way, guys, should I open this up and replace thermal paste with uh, liquid metal? Hmm? Shall we do a video on that? I figured out we could get it boosting to 4.7 GHz, but right now I'm currently at stable 4.4 GHz. But I think the temperature is the problem. Or maybe some BIOS settings, I need to still figure out how to properly change this nook. So it will work perfectly fine. But yeah, this will be a video for the next time. Now, on to... Answering some questions. I mean one comment. I will answer every video now and uh, here is burp with 26 with how is it with 4k and FSR quality on high with all RT options on I swear if that's at least 30 FPS lock with Riva tuner They will get an a770 if Witcher 3 uh, runs with ray tracing on and FSR at quality with 30 FPS lock, but uh, yeah as you can see here, we got about 27 FPS average. And uh, here are the settings I'm currently using. Uh, I'm actually using everything here. As you asked, ray tracing on, here we go. Oh, I'm actually using XSS balanced, but uh, let me quickly switch here to FSR quality mode. And uh, let me show the settings here. It's set to high, just like you asked. And uh, let's see, how's the how is it going on? Yeah, I mean, the frame time graph sure is smooth, but uh, in cities and probably in Novigrad there as well, expect about 20 FPS at 4K. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and uh, comment down if you want maybe your comment uh, answered in the next video. Yeah, peace out. See you guys soon. I'll make more videos, I promise.